just Geneva coming in here to give you a couple dreams. I think it's been almost a couple weeks since I made a video. I'm so sorry. Um, life's been super busy lately. Alright, um, had a couple dreams about evil people. We all know they're coming. Um, we all know the world's headed in a not so good um, state of, not so say state of mind. It's just, it's just not good. We all know things are going bad, things are going south. Um, so I just, you know, was kind of going through my dreams. I saw a couple of them. They're both about evil people, so here they are. All right. In the first dream, um, they, the evil people in charge, were doing several things like stealing outside firewood because it was a sign of self-preservation, uh, breaking into people's homes, and they would take like one neighbor, one home out of the neighbor, out of a neighborhood and bring a bunch of people, other people from that area to this one house. Um, and they were making you fill out forms with your phone number and the best time to reach you. Uh, and they would go after households that had end time DVDs slash knew the truth. Uh, if I mentioned Jesus, people would recoil and practically hiss. Uh, I did this another time in this dream and his mighty power rose up in me and his anointing showed super strong. Um, it reminded me of that part in that movie, um, well it was the Bible series, um, and it was in that one called the Son of God, where Jesus is coming into, I think it was, I don't know if it was Jerusalem, but it had that um, actor in there, I think his name was Barnabas, and he was the bald one, the bald younger guy. And he was like all rowdy and acting all crazy and rah, 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 you know. And Jesus comes in on the scene, walking in the area with his disciples. And Jesus, all he did was just put up his hand like this. And he back, you know, Barnabas backed off and he just, he couldn't say anything because of the power of Jesus. And he just literally kind of waved his hand like to come through. He was speechless. And that's what this, that part reminded me in the stream. Um, when his mighty power rose up in me. Um, yeah, that was the end of that dream. But just evil people in charge, you know, being sneaky, um, coming after people that are, you know, trying to preserve themselves and might know how to make it on their own without them, you know. So that's that dream. And then this dream I call my uh, Mark Wahlberg end time dream. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, in the dream, Mark Wahlberg came back for me. This evil man was coming for people. This crazy stuff was coming on to people. It did not get me, though. Um, we had a family friend also that was in the dream. Uh, and I was trying to explain to this friend why me and my daughter were leaving the area that she lives at. And she still lives there, and we did leave the area. Um, but we were trying to explain to her that we were leaving the area and that people were, would soon be looting that area from what was coming. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, anyways, I thought that it had gotten me because Mark and these other men had disappeared and left me. Plus my phone changed and Mark's phone number disappeared from my phone. But he came back for me. Yay! <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm a fan of, of Mark Wahlberg. Sorry. I don't know why I, I dreamt of them, but I thought it was kind of funny. Anyways, um, and then it said people were being slaughtered. And for some reason, I was getting out of there okay, because I knew the bad man. You know, some dreams can be kind of weird. Sometimes weird stuff happens, and um, that's not really the main point of the dream, but I'm just reading what it says. Um, so the bad man was secretly already at this big-type job place. People just didn't know it. He knew I knew he was there, but I promised him I wouldn't tell anyone, so he'd let me leave alive, and he did. Uh, and that might have been when Mark came back for me. But that's the end of that dream. Um, but people were being slaughtered. Um, just, it, again, you know, it doesn't sound good, but it was just another, yet another dream that I had about the evil people coming. So there's those two, and then I just wanted to share one more very short dream. You know, those dreams where I wake up and just like write one sentence. Um, we were being hunted down in the U.S. 
there were a lot of booby traps, like at the Hunger Games. That's all I wrote on that one. But again, being hunted by evil people. So, um, that's all I have for right now. I've I just wish I wasn't so busy lately. Um, I really want to put a video together about tornadoes. By far, that's the biggest... Um, that's, that's the main thing I've always dreamt about since I can remember. But um, the Lord pointed out to me after I had that vision about the landscape of America about to change. I have another video called that. He had pointed out to me after I had that first vision that to go back to my dream logs at that time and take a look at um, you know what was going on, what have I been dreaming of, what have I always been dreaming of, have they changed? And that, that's what he had told me, the dreams have changed and they have. Um, because in the last two years, two and a half years, maybe it's been three years by now, my, my tornado dreams have changed. Um, in the past, for years and years, I would always survive them. But the tornado dreams that I've had in the last few years, when we saw it coming, we just knew we weren't going to survive. It was too large, there was too many. But I'm going to um, hopefully get that out at some point. All right, um, hang in there, everyone. Things are kind of crazy. Um, just, I guess that's that's life these days. We're, we're trying to make it, trying to work, trying to do this, trying to do that. Um, you know, your maybe even your personal life isn't you know so good neither. I, I can relate to that. Um, so I'm struggling, but I'm still holding on. I'm holding on to Jesus' pant legs. He he's my all. You know. If you don't know him, uh, you know, even though I'm so down and out right now, it makes me smile ear to ear. I just, I just want to cry thinking about it. There's no one that can be there for you like he can. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He protects you mightily. And he, he keeps you company even if you feel like you're all alone. You're not. If you believe in him, his word stands true, no matter what you're going through. You know, his word says, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of this age. And he is, no matter no matter how it feels, no matter how lonely you may be, no matter what you may be struggling with. He's right there. He's right there with you. Alright, take care and God bless.